Welcome to Narrated Sparring Number 6. This one's really something because what this does is I was 40 and a half already having serious problems with my lupus and hypopituitary issues and yet I went to Korean top team and I hadn't been sparring, was living in Japan and I take on two tall, huge, younger, athletic, more experienced fighters that are like 6'4 and giants and I'm shy of 5'11. So what this really proved was the last kind of beta testing of my neo striking cluster fighting system as I hit them with combo number one, a cluster number one, and then combo number two there with the up jab calf kick. Now you're going to see me go into the sliding inside calf kick one, two. And he's a UFC fighter and then the jab fake long hook uh, outside kick and now in my switch punch series, switch punch uppercut left hand, switch punch low kick, and then next should be switch punch liver kick. But basically, I pull off the entire first round of my neo striking cluster fighting system. There it was, and now into the uh, shift hook um, cluster, cluster number three. I've since then added a distance control clusters in between that you'll eventually learn from my few uh, videos I will put out, kind of Jeff Chan, MMA shredded style, hopefully as best as I can. But what you see is I'm really holding my own and really kind of outstriking this great UFC fighter, Da Eun Young. 13, 2, and 1, though he's younger, more athletic, much taller, much greater reach, bigger, stronger, faster, and this should definitely prove it to someone. I'm 40 and a half. And so this is when I first finally really kind of got it down. I'd been developing it. I had all the combos, but really hadn't developed the system, and here we go. You know, first time sparring him. You see, he's having problems with. He's usually he's a great distance control fighter, but yet he's having problems with my kind of off rhythm blitzing shifting attacks. Now we're going into the liver attack series with a fake overhand liver punch low kick Dutch style. Now let's see if I do some Cub Swanson type action here. Nope, distance control myself with the oblique kick. Cross, shift, cross. He's currently 12, 5, and 1 in MMA. And a 12-fight win streak and one draw. That's pretty amazing. Or 6-fight win streak. I think 12-fight win streak. Or He's 13, 2, and 1. Excuse me. I confused him with uh, Kim. He's 13, 2, and 1. On the 12 fight win streak and one draw. So, two wins, uh, knockout and standing guillotine in UFC, and then a draw that I kind of thought he deserved to win on Sam Elvey. Now, going to the stock exchange a little bit. Sometimes you have to do that to prove the guy you're in the fight, you're mentally tough. You know, not letting his size intimidate me. Now I go statue and play with distance again. I'm going to see if I can guide my hand down the center line as a parry, and I do. Oblique kick, controlling distance again. Hit him with that jab. Some body weight behind it, a bit of a shift. A little kick punch series there. So guys, if you're serious about MMA, if you want to know how to beat someone bigger, faster, younger, stronger, more experienced, this proves my cluster fighting system. Two shift two there. Oh, he nailed me though with that right cross perfectly. That uh, you know, that has knocked people out time and time again. He doesn't um, give a lot of Kazushi. He's very upright, powerful, strong spine, kind of like Yushin Okami. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And when I sparred him, I was like, man, this guy's going to go far. And now you see him doing so great in the UFC. You 
He's starting to figure me out a little bit and get a little bounce in a step and, and getting his timing down a little bit better on that cross. There's the cross shift, cross left high kick, but he blocks it pretty good. You've seen me just nail people with that. And now we're going to switch to an even bigger dude, Korean top team fighter, Do Juan Kim, 12, 5, and 1. And now I'm starting my neo striking round two system. So I don't pull it off as perfectly, uh, but I do land a lot of the combos here. I do a lot of them but not necessarily perfectly in order because it's forward pressure and uh, size and whatnot. And I just didn't have it memorized as well. Didn't have it muscle memory the way it should be like I do the first round. So what do you guys think about <laughs> my first time sparring Dao Young? Oh, look at these kick, kick punch series. Or cluster. There we go. Kick, punch, punch, kick. Landing that good kick to the liver on the end of that. Mosh pit hops. The right overhand, right long hook kind of lands. The mosh pit long hooks. Oh, it got me with a good leg kick there. And look at me. I look scared, right? Hand drops. That's on purpose, guys. And boom, I land three strikes. Good uppercut lands there. Go off rhythm. Don't let them get your timing. Don't fight 50-50. Go and then go again and then go again and then go again. Attack by drawing time. There's steps. So after this, hopefully I'll edit finally with a lot of footage. Like I said, kind of Jeff Chan MMA shredded style. My uh, illegitimate son, if you will. And, um, you know, I'm kind of the OG. Who is traveling all over the world, taking all the footage, showing different combinations. I got 10 narrated uh, rare submission grappling highlights as I went around the world, guys. Check those out as a brown belt against tons of top guys. And this is my sixth narrated, really seventh. The first one is my 20-minute video with all the top guys with 510 wins, 250 losses, 45 draws. You know. It was a one one two seven eight going back to like a first round, how you start the first round again, as we saw against Young. You know, so the muscle memory comes out, guys. If you practice my system, what it does, instead of stopping, instead of staring in the mirror, you're able to go and go and go and hopefully like it clicks. And not only are you doing combinations instead of one shotting like everybody does, look, I just did five strikes. You're doing five instead of one or maybe two. Everyone else does. Another five strikes. And I can kick a lot harder, guys, the, the legs. I just never did it. Or in general, just never did it. Shit. Cub Swanson style or Hen and Brow style, fake overhand, a dip kick. And he hits me really bad in the uh, lower left ribs, as you see there. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Smash that subscription button. Smash that thumbs up. Help me out. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.